themselves, a hunger strike is over for a group of local parents. They've been protesting El Paso ISD's plan to close a pair of aging campuses. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields live in the newsroom with what is next tonight. This was the seventh and final day of the hunger strike for these parents, but they tell me they are now planning to file federal and state complaints to try and save their school. It's been very hard, um, but the only reason why we're doing it is to get the attention of the local political people to see if they can assist us in anything um, so that they won't close our schools. The hunger strike is over, but the uphill battle is not over for parents protesting the closure of Bell and Burroughs in elementary schools. The activists say they've met with El Paso Congresswoman Veronica Escobar and other local elected officials who support their cause. We're waiting for TRLA to um, submit the complaint through the Department of Education and to the TEA. And then uh, we just have to wait on, the, on what happens with the complaints. In a statement, the shrinking El Paso Independent School District says it's moving forward with the closure, saying the closure of schools was difficult but necessary step to create sustainability. EPISD is confident that the right sizing measures will help bring further financial stability to the district, which in turn will translate to better services for students. If now we have um, Veronica Escobar backing us up at the federal level, and we have um, state representative, representatives as well as saying that they're going to back up our, our uh, complaint that we are going to file, then we accomplish what we said to accomplish. Parents say they will continue to try and hold the district accountable for its decisions. We've been doing this for three years, you know, but the district has the power, has the money, but we have, we have all the energy and we have all our anger and frustration and we're demanding justice for our kids. Parents tell me they have a meeting tomorrow with other political officials regarding the complaints they are filing. In the newsroom, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Stephanie.